Setting tuition and fees for the universities is the most important thing that the board does every year. We, uh, we, we do go through that process every April after a lengthy development process, including hearing from our students and, and holding tuition hearings with the students. Uh, maintaining access and affordability our universities is, is one of the key missions of the board and we've taken several steps towards that over the last several years. Um, and, it, and it works on, on two sides of the issue. The first side is of course controlling tuition and fees, making sure our, our students and their families have, a, have an understanding of what they're going to pay and that there's no surprises over their four year or, or longer experience our universities and to that end um, both uh, NAU and the University of Arizona have tuition promise or guarantee plans uh, where, where a student keeps the same tuition level for at least four years. At, at ASU uh, they have the tuition guarantee where we, we've promised, Dr. Crow's promised that we won't increase tuition more than three percent in, in any given year and we've held true to that now for almost a decade. Um, the other side of that is on financial aid and, and uh, the board works very hard and the universities work very hard to provide necessary funding for students that can't afford the tuition to make sure that any student that is academically eligible can come to our universities and be successful. We set tuition every April, but that process really begins the, the prior June when we, we start looking at the budgets for the universities and then um, during the course of the year we sit with each university one at a time and spend a, a full day looking at that university, their goals, um, what their long-term trajectory is, their resource needs, what their student mixes are. Um, Know, how international and non-resident students play in that, in that uh, student mix, um, what support we're going to receive from the state, and then we take all of that information and the university presidents take that information and, and come to the board with a tuition proposal that we then review against all of that information we've gathered. During that course of that process, we're also looking to hear from students and families, and we have uh, structured settings where students can come in and speak to the board, talk about their experiences and their ability to afford um, tuition and fees at the universities. We look at our financial aid programs to make sure that, that no matter what we're doing on the tuition side, that we're maintaining access for all of our students. Some exciting things at the April board meeting, we'll be electing new officers um, for the upcoming fiscal year. Uh, starting, they'll take office in, in July, and so that, that's always an interesting time. Um, additionally, we'll be hearing from the state demographer who's going to come speak to the board about uh, the number of high school graduates we can expect in Arizona over the next decade or so. Uh, there's changing demographics all across the country and it's important for us to understand those demographics as we look at uh, the universities and what our pipeline is coming into the universities over the next 10-15 years. The other thing we'll be doing at the board meeting is looking at University of Arizona Health Sciences. They're, they've developed a, a long-term strategic plan with the new Vice President of, of Health Sciences and uh, they'll be reporting to the board and we'll be reviewing that strategic plan at the board meeting.